Well, hello, man capers. We are back. And we have the villiers off of the Bonzer truck. Several of you were saying, don't give up on that villiers. At least see what it's got. So, yep, yeah, I agree. That's what we're going to do. We're going to see what this has got. Right. Let's roll the credits. Back in a minute. Ah. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, here we are with our Mark 40 Villiers. Big old lump. First thing we've got to do, this tin work is loose. So I want to get this spark plug out. And get that tin work off and we'll show you exactly what's wrong with that. Let's have a look at this plug, actually. Well, that's the plug what come out of it. She's an old Bosch with a brass top. She don't look too bad, actually. It looked like it come out of a running engine. A little bit sooty, but nothing a good Italian tune-up won't sort out. Right, so okay, this is loose. Ah, cool, that's heavy, little bugger. So let's bend this cover around and that should push off. There we go. There we go. Do you know this engine don't actually look too bad? I think it looked a bit worse than it is. Yeah, she turns, she don't pay have any knocking. She don't sound too bad, guys. Here's our tin work. As you can see, that's all right at the top end, but when you get to the bottom end, there you go. You can see through it. But I suppose at a push, I could take this crap off because I was only held on with a screw. I could get rid of this and I could probably cut the cover off here and here, put a piece of tin in the bottom, cut another piece from the middle down and cut out a circle at the bottom and then weld them together, make a new bottom and put on here. To be honest with you, when that's on the truck, you don't even see the bottom of that because the engine cover comes up to sort of here. So it would cover most of that anyhow. But forget the tin work for the minute. Our biggest thing is, can we get a spark on this thing? Do you know, I think the first thing I want to do is blow this engine off. And now I'm down Man Cave HQ. You know what that means, don't you? Starting up the diesel compressor. Ah, uh, she ain't been going for a while. I've just wheeled her into place. Shall we see if the old girl will start? Do we need to prime it, do you reckon? Is it cold enough to need a prime? Possibly. We'll give her one pull and see. Nope, no prime and Let that get some air built up. Get an airline on it. We'll be back. Airline plugged in. We've got a little bit of air. I will turn that off in a minute. Because you don't want to listen to that. While we're working on this there. Because that's only the airlock. So let that get a bit more air. We'll turn that off. I think we need to blow this down. Now what we got here? Let's have a look. Right, we have a throttle cable. Do it do anything? Oh yeah, that's pulling look. And that throttle is, yeah, that's working. Yeah, you put a little bit of resistance on there, that throttle cable's working. Yeah, that's working. Governor is free. You know, this engine might not be as sad as I once thought. Let's check the oil in it. See what sort of mysteries we've got in the oil sump. I'll tell you, there's compressors, there's chickens. There's everything here. Have we got oil? Oh, yeah. She got oil. Oh, 
not enough oil for us to fly with. I'll tell you, we've got compressors going, we've got chickens laying eggs. I'll try to keep threatening them with little chicken drumsticks, but they still keep on at it. Right. I think we need to try and see what's under this cover. Is that a kill switch? Is there a set of points under there? That would be lovely if there was a set of points under there, because that would save me. How much air have we got? Plenty. I might shut that compressor off. Quiet and down there. Now listen to them old chickens. Alright, we are back. Right. I think we need to have a little look under this points cover, or under this kill cover, whatever it is. Let's blow that off first. I just want to get any crap out of here. Yeah. I say she does turn over. Have we got any compression? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she got compression as well. Yeah, there is actually compression there, so uh, we might be in for a little treat here. Alright, let's see what we got under this cover. Come on. I'm guessing there's got there's no wire attached to it. Ah! Ah, there is points, look, and a condenser under this cover, look. We have a points and a condenser. There is a wire there which is barely hanging on, but it's there. All right. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to clean them points up. Oh, there. All them points even out. All them points even opening. Right, that camera's down now. I think these points are seized up, you know, because they're not opening and closing. Oh, them points are well sticky. Look at them, look. They're sticking open, guys. Right. We have a problem with them. They have not been opened and closed for bloody years. Because they weren't opening and closing on the cam. But I reckon a little bit of witch's pee will do that. There you go, they're opening and closing. Look, there you go. You might not about to see that, but... Yeah, they're opening and closing now. They're a little bit sticky, but... I think with a little bit more maintenance spray, I don't particularly want to go taking them out because I ain't got a new set to put in, so. Now oh, they're opening and closing now. Right, let's get our little file in here and see if we can file them up. See if we can get any points, any spark out of the old girl. If we can get a spark out of this engine, that might be savable, you know. But I don't like my chances of being able to get hold of a set of coils, or anything, matter of fact, for a Mark 40. Because as some of you have said, these are not the most common engines, Mark 40 Villiers. Mark 10s, 12s, 15s, 20s, 25s, they're everywhere. Mark 40s, not so much. So I'm not sure how I'd go on with finding another one. Or parts for this. Alright, let's cut the end off that file. And go again. There we go. We're just going to give these a file up. And then if for some miracle we do get a spark, 
we'll persevere with the old girl. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to go for an attempted start today. So I don't know whether I've got a way to turn this engine over. Because there's no pull on it. There's nothing to wrap a rope around it. Because on the machine, there's a cog on the crank. And that starts on a kickstart through the gearbox. So there's no starting provision on the engine itself. I'm hoping I can turn it over quick enough. I'm hoping I've brought my adapter with me. To get on the flywheel. So we can spin this over with a drill. Have I brought my adapter with me? I'll bet I've left that at home, ain't I? There we go. Alright. Nip that little end off because that's wet. See, you can get a lot out of one of these little files. Always use these little files. They're brilliant little things. And I think i got a pack of 50 of these files for about two quid from the village shop. So it might seem extravagant, just cutting bits off when you're done with them, but they're so cheap, I find they work well. I'm giving this plenty of cleaning because um, this was, these points were very green and furred up. So we're giving them the best chance. Alright, what do we do now? What we do is we blow all that old oil off. Open them points. There you go. We want to blow all that old maintenance spray out while we clean there. So that don't get on the points and make them wet. And we want a little bit of cardboard. So let's get the top off a plug box. Here we go. And just run that bit of cardboard through there. Just to dry them points off. Get any oil and crap off them. Ah, look at that crap coming off them. Let's try this other corner. See, there was oil and crap. All come off them. There we go. Oh, are they closing? They're closed. Uh, let's see if them points are getting a good connection. Right, so now we need to see if we've got a spark. Because our points are opening and closing and being cleaned. We've got a new plug set up at the top here. So let's see if we've got any form of spark. Let's have a look. Nothing. Nothing. So I'm only turning it this quickly because that's only that's as quick as you're going to be able to turn it. Let's get it on a black background just in case. No, there's nothing. I can't hear it either. Now, because that's about as quick as you're going to be able to turn it when you're kick-starting it. So if we can't get a spark at this speed, it's never going to go. That's a shame. Right. I don't like this wire here. See, that's coming right off. This wire under these points, that's just coming right off there. Look at all that, that's tiny little bit of wire. All right, let me see if I can tidy that insulation up. Right, let's see if we can tidy this insulation up with a lighter. There we go. I was like, get rid of all them burnt ends. Yeah. Well, that hasn't exactly worked, has it? This whole stuff's obviously flame retardant. There's a lot of wire in there, though. I wonder if that wire will... Because we've got plenty of wire here. I wonder if we can pull a bit of that through and restrip it. We can't take too much off our condenser. You see what I mean? That's really tilly-willy, that. So we're going to cut that off, and we're going to see if I get a hook tool in here and lift this little thing up, I think we can pull some wire through.
right here we go I don't come out that little thing I just bend down well we've got that right up there we go oh yeah we can get a bit more wire through there look we've got tons of wire now so let's chomp this whole rotten end right off here and see if we can get a new piece of wire coming Whether we can or not, I do not know. All right, there we go. All right, we've got to get this out of shielding away. So that's not making any sort of contact with that. All right, that out of shielding is out of the way. Because this is like a shielded wire. You know what I mean? So I'm going to pull a bit of that shield and I'm going to wind it down. So I don't want that earthen on the engine with that. So we'll take some of this wire off. There we go. Now we're left with some nice... Oh, that's come off here. Look, this wire is quite badly disintegrated, unfortunately. This might be where our problem is, you know. That all the inner insulation off this wire has gone and it's earthing out I'm wondering can we take that off there and just replace this piece of wire so I don't need to have that yeah I don't need to have that shielding on I mean that's only to stop vibration and breakage and all that stuff but I don't really intend to break it so Oh, hang on, we're back to some good inner insulation. There we go, and we're long enough. So we've got some good inner insulation there. <sighs> so I think... Alright, let's chop all that excess off that we don't want. Right, let's give him a little wrap round. Let's check our continuity first. See if we've got continuity between this and the body now. So if we touch these together, we get a beep. Well, I don't think uh, we've got continuity here. That tells me that that coil has gone to ground. So I don't think we're ever going to get a spark. I'm wondering if that's this wire, you know. Because there's so much old tape and crap around the bottom of this. Or should we have continuity there? I didn't think we should. Because I think having continuity there has got to be the same as earthing this pin out when you push the button enter. Killing the spark. Right. Let me see if I can wiggle away of getting that little nut out of there. See if I've got a small enough spanner. All right, let's clean this terminal up. Try and get that grease off there a bit. Ah, hang on. I think that little nut is coming undone by hand, guys. Turn our meter off. Yeah, I believe that's coming undone by hand, look. Now I think we've got to have this flywheel off, so I think that's turning inside. Right, 
let's buzz this flywheel off. If we can. And we'll see if we can see what's happening. Right, we have the compressor back on and they got some wind. We need to see if we can get this flywheel off. Wow, not as rusty guys. Come on. Oh, 
on up, that's undone, that's... Right, that's starting to go now, right? I'm going back and forward with it. Just to give her a little bit of freeing up. Coming luck. There we go. We've either stripped the damn thread off them. Yeah, we've either stripped the thread off there, because I thought this nut was meant to pull the flywheel off with it. I thought that pulled it off a taper. She's off. That's just a blow off valve open. That'll close in a minute. Right. I get a sneaky feeling this was going to give us trouble. And it is. There you go. She's off. And this stupid little nut is starting to turn on the inside. Which is a shame. Can we get that done back up again? We can, but that nut is not sort of held on the inside very well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this back on and the condenser and see what's going on. See if we can get any sort of spark on the old girl. But it's a shame that damn flywheel nut is just stripped itself hmm we might have to hunt for a donor engine so I'm not sure this engine is actually going to be up to the job sorry to say I hate to, to disturb you purists there among you but I am kind of in agreement where I would like to keep this engine but I don't know whether that's going to be viable if we can't get a spark on it yeah that's got them two wires together let's get our little washer and our little nut back on And well, by some miracle, see if we've got any sort of spark on here. Right, that's all right. Let's get this. Let's see if we can get this little nut tightened down a little. Oh, 
Oh, that's tightened. And then wires are not touching. I don't think we're going to have a spark, but we'll have a look. No. Unfortunately not. Because this coil is going down to ground. And I think that's what our problem is. That coil is going to ground. Ah. It's a shame this engine didn't have a magneto on it. Ah. Oh, well, that's a bugger. Right. I think... I don't think there's a lot of point in me spending too much more time on this at the minute. Because without a spark, you'll all agree, this engine's dead. But we won't give up on it. I will hold on to it. I'll put it in the shed and have a look about. Thing is, with a stripped off flywheel nut, with this flywheel nut now not tightening or, close or opening, I think we've damaged the crank, but there was no other way to do it. I thought going backwards and forwards would have rocked her loose, but it hasn't. So sadly, I think the poor Villiers is probably a donor for something. We've still got a good carb on it, good exhaust, you know. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe we need to search. For another donor engine. Our HT leader's all good, and zip is damaging that. I do wish I could have got this flywheel off to see what the HT lead's like on the coil, but that coil is definitely earthen to the body, so I think that coil is knackered in there and it's gone dead ground. Ah, that's unfortunate. Well, I think. That's the demise of that little engine, which is sad because it would have been nice to use that one. But I think, yeah, with its issues now with this nut being wrung off as well, I mean, that isn't doing anything. These nuts should come off and pull the flywheel off with them. If they're like every other Villiers I've done. But no, I think the thread has totally stripped out on it. Nah, that's a shame. Right. I think that's going to have to be it for this video, I'm afraid, guys. We have had a go with the Villiers. I will put this one in the shed. And I'll have a look about and see if I do have another engine we can use. But I don't want to put a Honda or anything on there. You know. No, I really don't. So we'll have a look and see if there's something else we can use. Right. That is going to be it for this video. There we are. Like and subscribe. And yes, we will have another look. Try and locate ourselves some form of engine. Let's go have a look at this auto truck again. <laughs> there she be, look. There she is. There she is on the trailer from when we picked her up yesterday. So yes. Somebody mentioned they might have a clutch lever for an Albion. There's where the lever got to go. Come around this side. <clears throat> yeah. The clutch lever just go on there through a pin. Comes up and the cable go on at this end. And that just push that nut in and out, that bolt. So that's all it is, that clutch. So, I can probably make one, but I think... Ah, I'm sure I used to have something with one of them levers on, but goodness knows where it is. Probably gone. Anyhow, there you go. Another look at the Bonza. Isn't she a beast? Oh, oh yes. Oh, I think that tyre will hold some air on it. Yes, you'll be all right. No, it won't. Definitely not. Right. 
that's it guys we will go and yeah i'm now gonna have a dig about and see if i can find an engine oh never mind that is a shame because that would have been nice to use that original villiers but i think she's demised unfortunately right that's it we're back with the engine now and we will see you guys next time bye bye for now ha ha Villiers!